So, how does my garden grow? Well, right outside the window, we have this beautiful fuchsia with this, I forget what it's called, but it gets little purple flowers. See? A little tiny purple flower there. And then, of course, it's a beautiful fuchsia. There's some house plants that we take advantage of this bucket when we water the fuchsia and it drips down into the bucket and that waters these plants. Over here, uh, the banana plants, which will be in the ground before fall, for sure. I'm going to plant the banana grove. Over here we have some taro growing. Look at those beautiful leaves. Ah, looks like it needs a little phosphorus. I got that. And this baby is looking straggly. Yeah. Oh, isn't this gorgeous ginger growing? Down here we got more starts. All those down in there are lemon trees. They're going to go into bigger containers. And uh, what do we got there? A black beauty. Right there. Mm, another one. Okay. That's an eggplant. And these I'm planting this evening. We've got some beans in there. Um, comfrey for under the fruit trees. And I'm trying kale and broccoli and stuff. We'll see what it does. Those are just some flowers. This is the grass. We actually planted grass. Oh, these are the newer trees. Didn't make it into the ground, but we've got two mandarins, a lemon, and a lime. And we do have fruit on them. Um, so I am leaving them so as not to disrupt the fruit. This, of course, is more ginger growing. You can see the ginger right there. See the ginger? You just come and harvest it to eat. This is just a pretty plant. This is chamomile. Uh, over here, my sage is kind of looking summery. In other words, not looking great. This big old rubber tree just doesn't give up. Ooh. It's big. This little basket's doing well. We've got, you see some basil in here. These are little shorty carrots. Probably pretty close to being ready to harvest. Um, I also tried to plant some cilantro in here and it didn't grow. That's a bummer. But here, I'll show you my new cilantro. I use these buckets. This is Malabar spinach. Oh, and look at it starting. You see, those are starts of the spinach. Malabar spinach loves super hot. These are lemon verbena that I'm rooting so I can give them away to some friends. And over here we have cilantro. We did two. This one we crushed, and this one we did not crush the seeds. Don't look like anything's growing yet. I have more Malabar spinach. I've just planted two. Um, Oh, I wonder what he did with it. I had more. Okay, coming around this side. Most of these are flowers. They're floral type things. There's a begonia right there. This is celery, where I took the end of a piece of celery and I rooted it. And actually, I just come out here and you can see I just harvest off of this when I want some celery in what I'm cooking. And it's kind of cool. You don't need to have the whole bunch. Oh, that one there is um, not ginger, but it's turmeric. That's turmeric. Okay, of course, we have persimmons like crazy gonna come. Another great crop. This right here is mint. Multi-colored mint. It's pretty good. Uh, there's strawberries down in there. We ate a couple. Uh, this is lemongrass, which Carlos likes to make tea out of. This is my lemon verbena that I love so much. Oh, smell of vision. So good. This is just a pretty tree that we got to get out of here because it's way too close to the fence. Um, and of course we have pomelos coming. We've pruned them this year, first year, but last year we had so many. Oh, that one still has two. We tried to thin this down so that they'd be big because it was so overloaded we were afraid we were going to lose branches. Um, the apple tree, 
And now the apple tree is actually clean underneath. It's a good thing. Lots of apples on there. We'll see how we do. These are the bigger persimmons. The Not the Fuyus, but the other kind. Our lemon tree got a little over pruned this year, unfortunately. I don't know that we're going to get any lemons. Maybe, but I think he pruned them off, which is kind of a bummer. Um, we are going to have lots of pomegranates. This is a pomegranate tree here. Summer still at flower stage. We also have roots already started. They go all the way around. This is the citrus tree that never has any citrus on it. Never has. Plums, at the end of the plum tree. This is a volunteer squash. It just decided it wanted to come up this year. We've been pulling off of the, this is the big ones that are lighter green. Lots and lots of flowers in there. Of course, you can eat the flowers too. This here is my favorite tomato, Sweet 100. It's not doing as well this year as normal, but I also, I wasn't the one who set it up. The watering is not correct for a tomato. Should have a deep trench around it. This is, um, who knows what this one is decided to come up. We didn't plant this. It'll be interesting to see what this is. This is, these are the sweet little yellow tomatoes. They're very good. They are very good. And this, we have our first Roma coming. It's a Roma tomato. There are eggplants. So the, this is the one that's been planted the longest. These ones have been planted less than a week. There's five more I added. I started from seed. And then this big one. That was our giant Swiss chard. It'll come back again next year. And this other green one on the ground, that's a uh, watermelon. I think that's the personal size, seedless. And here we have squashes, a bed of squashes. And you have, oh my goodness, there's a yellow one we missed, I see. It's getting kind of big. Lots, the thing with squashes, it's so hard to see them and pick them before they get too big. And they taste best small. This right here is cantaloupe and honeydew. There's two plants here, kind of intertwined. There's another watermelon. Over here we have an acorn, and it has a big old acorn on it. There it is down in there. Over here, these are lemon cucumbers. I think there's three or four plants of them in here. We should be pulling them off soon. This is also covered in flowers. So, oh man, do I ever love these lemon cucumbers. They are the best. And in here we also have two just planted cucumbers. They're taken off. Look at that. That one might not do so good. So this one is a different, this is a Armenian cucumber. It's a little slower taken off. Those are two of the green seedless. My blackberries are oh, so good. We of course still have citrus on these trees. There's another plum. Another persimmon. Another apple. The cactus should be flowering pretty soon. It's right there. In the corner is the mandarin, the loquat tree, another apple tree, more persimmons. And here we have our peppers. This is a sweet banana pepper. Then we have, I think, red, yellow, and orange bell peppers back there. And this is supposed to be some kind of a sweet wax pepper or something. Look at all the flowers on that. Ugh, that's gonna be good. I have no idea what that is deciding to come up on its own. Hmm. Interesting, what do we have here last year? Might be an eggplant. And of course my fig tree. 
that Connie got me last year. It's looking great. Look at all these figs. So there you have it. That is the garden this year so far. Next year, the goal is where this squash is, is going to be a pond. With the citrus trees over there and on this side, and the bananas about where the kale is. And a large size pond here for water catchment to use as a watering system. That's the goal. Okay, time for me to go eat some blackberries. It's dessert time, I think. Mmm. Oh, they're so good. Bye-bye.